Hi everyone, it's Louis here from Louis Tutorials and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to achieve this um, full background image gallery for Web Plus X6 users. So this will not work on Web Plus X5 or X4, it needs to be done on X6. And the way we do this is first you need to venture off to a website called Serif Add-ons. Now a lot of the Web Plus users know about this website, but there there really hasn't been any actual videos shown on how to install a lot of these plugins that they have for the the add-ons. And I thought it'd be nice to you know just do a quick video on it. Um, so when you get to the actual website, you need to go to X6 Add-ons, go to Image Effects, and it's called Background Gallery. Now, you've already seen the, the demo here, so I don't need to show you the actual demo. All you need to do is purchase it, it's $8, it's a small price to pay for a nice effect like this. And uh, you will download a zip file, and when you download the zip file, it looks, when you open it, this is what it looks like. And what you should do is grab the contents and just transfer the contents into a designated folder that you would like to keep the actual plugin in. And as you can see here, I've already transferred it, just drag it across into a folder. I've called this background gallery. And then we need to venture off into Web Plus itself. So open up Web Plus. And what you will do is click on the Assets tab, which is here. And that'll open up your Assets tab. Then you need to click on Open. And then uh, in the same folder, you need to click on Background uh, Gallery W Pack and open it. Now it's already in there. So once you open it, you'll get this here, which is background gallery, serif add-ons. And you need to pretty much just drag that across and that's your HTML fragment. Um, so I'll just get rid of this one because I already have one there. Now the size of this does not matter. Um, you can have it nice and small um, because you're displaying the whole image in the end anyway. So you can do anything over the page that you want. You can make a navigation bar, you know, some text, whatever you like. Um, or you could have this as your home page and then people can go on the navigation bar and go to where they need to. But for the purpose of the exercise, uh, so you double click on the HTML code and this is the code that you have in there. Um, these are all the images. So before we do that, need to go to Tools, Site Manager, go to File Manager, and then you need to create a new folder. So I've already done this. So once you click on New Folder, create the new folder, call it Backgrounds, and select the folder, and then you need to add the files into the folder. So when you click on that, you'll have your images here. Now, preferably the images should be no bigger than about a thousand uh, pixels across, like width-wise, and then the actual plugin resizes it um, accordingly. And try not to have your images more than two to three hundred um, kilobits. Um, otherwise, uh, they will might take a little too long to load up. So then, yeah, as I said before, just uh, add all your images. You can select them all like that, and then just click on open, and that'll add all the images. Now, once again, I've already done this, and we'll just get out of that. So all the images are already in here, one to five. Let's go to the HTML snippet here, double click on it again. And what you want to do is, by default, it's got uh, 01, 02, 03, um, but we want to put our own images. So whatever you've actually named the image, so this one's image um, 
space one dot jpeg image space two and this is exactly how I've named them so you need to put it exactly as is so no different uh, by default it only comes with three images so in order to uh, get another image all you have to do is select it copy that go to the next line and paste and then you can add another, another image if you've got image 6 for example just add that as 6 so we'll just get rid of that for now the other important thing to note is this see how every one of these has a comma after it well the very last image you need to remove the comma uh, otherwise if you don't uh, there'll be a break in your uh, image gallery when displayed so you don't want that happening okay the other thing uh, that you have with this is how long you want each image to display um, by default it's three seconds so three thousand actually means three seconds four thousand is four seconds and so on and so forth um, so I've changed mine to four and it'll display every image for four whole seconds now the fade as well you can also change that so if you want it as a short fade you just have that at 1000 I've got mine at 2000 at the moment I think it just looks a lot nicer with the transition and also it has overlays as well and I'll tell you what I mean by that if you set the overlay image to zero then there is no overlay but the moment you start changing that from 1 to 15 so there's 15 overlays all up um, just by changing the numbers let's say we change it to 15 click OK let's preview that and see how there's that that overlay so there's different variations of the overlay that you can have a look at I mean you know if, if that's what you like then um, go through all of them and see which one suits you or suits your project okay so we'll go back and that's actually pretty much it there's there's nothing really more to tell um, nice and easy and uh, quite a nice little effect to have on your website um, if you have any questions please uh, make a comment I'll be more than happy to help and uh, that's it for now so hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, if you like what you see please subscribe to my tutorials and we'll see you guys again soon bye now